back to chemistry class. Today we will learn and practice the use of significant figures in calculations. So there are two rules. One is when we add or subtract. Other one when we multiply and divide. So first one significant figures in addition and subtraction. When adding or subtracting the answer should have the same number of decimal places as the limiting term. Limiting term is the number with the least decimal place. For example we are subtracting 234.66706 from 5065.999 So our answer should be 500, uh, sorry, 5,131.33194. But the rule says least decimal place. So how many decimal place here? Three. How many here? One, two, three, four, five, five. We have to report in terms of least. Therefore, our answer should contain only three decimal place because three is least decimal place. So 33194, I change it to 331. That is the correct answer. Same rule would apply when we will add any numbers. That's about addition and subtraction. Now, what we do when we multiply or divide? So, let's see. When we multiply or divide, the rule of significant figures are answers should have the same number of significant figures as the limiting terms. Limiting term is the number with the least number of significant figures. For example, here 503.29 multiplied by 6.177. So answer is this. This may be correct answer in your math class, but in science, physics, chemistry, or any other physical science, if you are solving a problem, you are calculating something, then it's always, it must be reported to the least significant figures. In this number, there are one, two, three, four, five significant figures. Here, there are four significant figures. Therefore, I have to round this answer to four significant figures, which I have done here, 3109. So that is the correct answer. Okay, now another example, 224 times 10. So what we see here, 224 have, has three significant figures, 10 is one significant figures. When I multiply 224 by 10, answer is 2240. But that's not correct when we do in science because we have to go least number of significant figure which is 1. 2240 we have to round it off to one significant figure. 2240 it would be rounded off to 2000. So that is the correct answer. So these are the two rules we apply when we multiply or divide other rules when we add or subtract. Let's solve another problem. 223 multiply by 2. So what's your answer? 446. But how many significant figure here? 3. How many here? 1. It means answer should 
contains only one significant figure. So 446 would be rounded off to 400. Now there's only one significant figure. That's the correct answer. So same thing happens when we divide. For example, 550, 555 divided by 15. So what should be the answer? 555 divided by 15. Answer should be 37. Do we need to make any change? No, because there are two significant figures. There are three significant figures. Answer must contain only two significant figures, which is 37. But if this number is different, then, for example, let's see, this is the last example. I give you an we will end the class. 556 divided by 16. So what would be the answer? 556 five, divided by 16, 34.75. How many significant figures? In 556, 3. How many here? 2. So I have to round off this number to 2 significant figures. There are 4 significant figures. 34.75. So what I'm going to do? 35. And that is correct. If you got any question, you may ask in the comment section and I will get back to you. And next class, we will be studying uh, scientific method. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for your time.